The Knicks have won their first game of the season, beating the Atlanta Hawks 126 to 120. And there were a lot of heroes of the games we could talk about, Jalen Brunson, RJ Barrett. But for me, there was one player on the New York Knicks who is seemingly thriving in his new role. And that player is Julius Randle. He didn't have it going early on, but he didn't let that affect the rest of his game. He became pass first Randall and helped the Knicks move forward, win the game against the Atlanta Hawks. And I'll tell you one thing, folks. If Randall continues playing like this, the New York Knicks will absolutely be the third best team in the Eastern Conference. We're going to break down exactly why Randall was so impactful, what he did, and so much more today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of any of the new content. And now, let's get started. Pass first, Randall is here. Guys, I loved watching that Hawks game last night uh, with the New York Knicks taking them on. There were so many players to look at, so many good moments that we could go back to look at. But one of the things that we have to mention is Julius Randle and his sensational, sensational play. Let's take a look at some of the numbers though, because we have to give credit where credit is due. The Knicks beat, busted the Atlanta Hawks 126 to 120. And then the squad, as you see here, delivered. Jalen Brunson with a 31, 31 piece with five assists. RJ Barrett, 26 points, six assists. Dante DiVincenzo, everybody's favorite newest Nick, 16 points, one steal, one block. And then for me, the man of the hour for me, Julius Randle, 17 points. 12 rebounds, 9 assists, 1 assist away from a triple-double. Julius Randle destroyed the Hawks in my opinion. He took advantage of every single thing the Hawks gave him and so much more. He looked like one of the best players on the floor and that's the main thing I wanted to talk about. Julius Randle is actually looking like the player that I've always wanted him to look like. He's always been a good passer. We always know he can find his shot wherever he is. He's a bully down low. And if he continues to do that, nobody, not really anybody in the league is strong enough to stop him. On the rebounding side, he's been killing it, doing exactly what he needed him to do. But it's his passing, his playmaking. Now you can tell me, Troy, he's always been passing. He's had six assists in terms of average for his career with the New York Knicks. That's great. His assist in terms of last year, the year before that, and this year do not look the same. Do you notice that he's going into the paint? He is drawing double teams, triple teams, passing out, making the smart pass or faking a pass to the corner and actually passing to Brunson or RJ for an even wider open three and they're nailing the shot. Jalen Brunson, career high eight threes, who passed him at least three or four of them? Julius Randle. Pass first Randle. I told you guys before the season even started. There's a video on the channel. You can go look it up. Where I said, if the New York Knicks are going to take that next step forward. Because they didn't really add any talent. Not talent that was notable for an upgrade. So the only way to get better is continuity, chemistry, your individual players getting better, but some players adopting a different role. Julius Randle, I mentioned, if he passed more, would help elevate this Knicks team because that means he would take a back seat to R.J. Barrett and to Jalen Brunson. Number one, he's done that. And then if he passed more, he could still put up elite numbers and make an argument for all-star. These numbers, 17, 12, and 9, Almost triple-double. Those are all-star numbers. And he wasn't even the main person doing all the scoring in the game. Jalen Brunson and R.J. Barrett led the way. R.J. Barrett, mind you, looked like the best player on the floor in terms of where he was, what he was doing, and his overall play. But Julius Randle looked like the best playmaker on the floor. 
Nine assists, guys. Nine assists. And I'm not the only one who noticed this. Shout out to Fred Katz from The Athletic for noticing this as well, too. Shout out to Fred Katz for stating the following. Julius Randle struggled with his shot tonight, but recognized it early and went into distributor mode. Curious to look back on this and see how many of the Knicks' 44 three-point attempts were because of him. Julius Randle also spoke on this with reporters and stated the following. You just got to do other things. Rebound, pass, get steals, be a good help defender. You just got to focus on the next play. You really can't focus on missed shots. Randall said that after missing 21 of 27 shots in the Knicks opener. We made enough shots throughout our career that we know that'll eventually fall. Randall had nine assists against the Hawks. Those assists led to 25 points or one-fifth of the New York Knicks points in a 26 to 120 road win. Shout out to Sports Illustrated for reporting the following. I appreciate that information as well too. It's great to see the New York Knicks not only getting that first victory, but doing it in a way where so many Knicks players shined. We talked about RJ. We talked about Brunson. Obviously, Randall. Dante DiVincenzo. Another player who finally looked so good in a New York Knicks uniform. That's exactly what we wanted to see. But Julius Randle, for me, was one of the most impactful players on the court. His defense still needs a little bit of work, I'm not going to lie. But everything else, rebounding it, he did it elite. And he did it in traffic. So that's number one. Number two, he shot when he was open, didn't force his shot, didn't force his game. He passed to the players that he felt were more open or had a better shot than he did. And not only that. He was able to find players because he was faking passes. He was able to find players because he was drawing other players around him because they thought he was going to take the shot. And because of that, he was able to find an open Brunson, an open Barrett, an open Grimes, or to another Nick player on the floor that's either cutting or open. Julius Randle is finding them because he's drawing attention because a lot of these other players on the floor, including defenses, are thinking that Randle's going to drive to the basket. So they're collapsing on him, allowing him to find another player that's open and have them make that shot. He's using his basketball IQ to an extremely high degree, and I don't think a lot of people are talking about it or giving him enough credit. Pass first, Randall is here. He's taking a back seat behind Jalen Brunson and RJ Barrett, and that's helping the team thrive. He is helping the Knicks pass the ball more. We're seeing this, right? The Knicks collectively are passing the ball more, and that starts with Julius Randall doing that and taking that approach. And the team, because he's one of the leaders of the team, is matching that, and they're passing just as much. Jalen Brunson passing just as much. R.J. Barrett passing just as much. The team looks solid. They looked ready. They looked focused. They are playing together. I love the way they're passing. They're passing to a point that everybody's touching the ball, so everybody's more engaged. Everybody's more focused. They're more locked in. They just look polished. They look like a better team than the Atlanta Hawks did last night. Even when the Hawks were creeping back and creeping back and making shots and keeping the game close, it wasn't me or did you not worry? Because I wasn't worried as a Knicks fan because the way the Knicks were playing, they never played in a way that made you worry. The Knicks have another test against the Pelicans tonight. I hope they come away with another W so I can celebrate again. Do my happy dance. I hope you guys are doing your happy dance as well too. Leave a comment below and let me know about what you think about pass first Randall, if you appreciate his game more and if you like what you see from Julius Randall this year thus far. I hope I can hear from you in the comments because honestly guys, I really would love to hear from you. But until next time, don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and of course guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.